Hello, today we're going to be talking about Squirtle, the first water Pokemon. Its past PYC dates are March 4th, 1996, December 24th, 1998, October 14th, 2001, August 4th, 2004, May 26th, 2007, March 16th, 2010, January 4th, 2013, October 26th, 2015, August 16th, 2018, and June 6th, 2021. Squirtle is special to me because he's my first starter. I started all the way back in Pokemon Blue, but I haven't played every game since. The last game I properly played was Diamond, if you can consider it properly playing, because I never actually finished it. I love the color blue, and my name means Son of the Sea, so I typically go with the Water Starter. I also know Squirtle, like many fans do, with the Squirtle Squad. I love the design of a water tortoise slash turtle Pokemon. It's also based on a legendary creature, but we'll get to that soon. Now let's read the Bulbapedia article. Hello, today we'll be talking about Squirtle. Uh, yes. You know this already. Uh, so Squirtle is the tiny turtle Pokemon. It's the seventh Pokemon. This is what it looks like. Ain't it cute? Anyway. Its type is water. Special abilities are Torrent and Drain Dish. This is hidden ability. Uh, its gender ratio is 87.5% male and 12.5% female. Uh, its catch rate is 45 or 11.9%. Uh, it's breeding. Uh, the egg groups are Monster and Water 1. Its hatch time is 20 cycles. Its height is 1 foot 8 or 0.5 meters. Its weight is 19.8 pounds or 9 kilograms. Its base experience yield is in Gen 1 through 4 was 66, but went down by 3 in Gen 5. Uh, leveling rate is medium slow. Its uh, EV yield is one defense. Its shape uh, is that. Its footprint is that. Its Pokedex color is blue, and its base friendship is 70. And then you've got all, all of these. Squirtle uh, is a water type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves into War Turtle starting at level 16, which evolves into Blastoise starting at level 36. Along with Bulbasaur and Charmander, Squirtle, Squirtle is one of the three partner Pokemon of Kanto available at the beginning of Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Biology. Squirtle is a small reptilian Pokemon that resembles a light blue turtle. While it typically walks on its two short legs, it has been shown to run on all fours in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It has a large purplish or reddish eyes, uh, and a slightly hooked up upper, sorry, a slightly hooked upper lip. Each of its hands and feet have three pointed digits, and N with its long squirrel-like tail curls inwards. Uh, its body is encased in a tough shell that forms and hardens after birth. The shell is brown on the top, pale yellow on the bottom, and has a thick white ridge between the two halves. Squirtle and its shell, you can see there. Squirtle shell is a useful tool. It can withdraw into its shell for protection or to go to sleep. Uh, the grooved rounded shape helps to reduce water resistance, allowing these Pokemon uh, allowing the Pokemon to swim at high speed. Squirtle can spray foamy water from its mouth with great accuracy. Squirtle is scarce in the wild, although it can be found around small ponds and lakes. The anime has shown that it can be found living on secluded islands with other members of its evolutionary line. Uh, Sharpedo is a natural predator of Squirtle. As shown in Pokemon Sleep, Squirtle is known to sleep by withdrawing its limbs and head into its shell, as it does this to protect itself from threats while sleeping. It also, on occasion, rocks contently from side to side while sleeping. Aww. Uh, in Gen 2, uh, Squirtle and his evolution forms were the only known Pokemon capable of learning the move. A Skull Bash, naturally, but other Pokemon could still inherit it via breeding. Evolution, Squirtle evolves into War Turtle, uh, and evolves into Blastoise. You can do this with Rare Candy. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, in the anime, uh, yes, this is Squirtle. Uh, you got uh, Gary's Ashes. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of, yeah. Okay, uh, stuff, yada yada yada. Okay, here we go with the Pokedexes in episode 12. Uh, this is about Squirtle and Ash's Pokedex. Squirtle, this tiny turtle Pokemon, draws its long neck into its shell to launch incredible water attacks with its amazing range and accuracy. The blast can be quite powerful. The 39th episode of X and Y and Serena's Pokedex, Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. During battle, Squirtle hides in its shell and that sprays water at its opponents whenever it can. This is what it looks like in Pokemon Origins. Uh, it's got kind of the redder eyes, you know, okay. Uh, in the manga, looks really, really weird. Uh, weird, yeah, it looks really weird. Um, 
there. And then they got the little cute guy. And then, um, yeah, they got all that. They got the TCG here. Okay, then, uh, other appearances. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Squirtle is, uh, seen on the stage. Uh, Poke Floats and is the first Poke Float to appear. Play begins on its head and arms until it slowly leaves off the bottom of the screen. After traveling through all the Poke Floats, the screen will be empty for a few seconds before Squirtle pops up and the cycle begins again. So the trophy information reads, Retreating into its shell and spitting water at its foes is Squirtle's trademark response to danger. It's one of the three Pokemon that trainers can receive from Professor Oak in Pokemon Red and Blue. Squirtle evolves into War Turtle and then Blastoise, ramping up its water powers with each evolution. Super Smash Bros. Uh, Brawl, Squirtle's a playable Pokemon that uh, used by the Pokemon trainer alongside Ivysaur Char and Charizard. It can use Waterfall to recover from falls as well as withdraw, in which uh, case it retreats to its shell and shoots uh, water from the Mac of it propelling him forwards. It can also use, it also uses water gun to push enemies with a stream of water. Squirtle is a lightweight and uses various attacks using its shell and water type moves to combat its foes. It uses hydro pump in the Pokemon trainer's final smash triple finish. Uh, so you can see it, yeah, doing its thing. Uh, Brawl, it also has a trophy, I guess. Uh, a tiny turtle Pokemon. In times of danger, it puts, pulls its arms and legs inside its shell uh, protect, to protect from enemies' attacks. Uh, when it conceals its neck, it also shoots a powerful stream of water from its mouth. Its shell not only protects its body, but also reduces water friction when in the water. When leveled up, it evolves into War Turtle. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, Squirtle did not return as a playable character in either version of the game. Instead, it appears as a trophy in both versions of the game, and you can see the trophy here. It looks kind of weird, but... Yeah, it's been the angle of the screenshot that they took this in. So the trophy, oh, it's got two of them, um, in North America. At the start of their Pokemon adventures, many aspiring trainers visit Professor Oak to choose one of the th one of three first partner Pokemon. Squirtle's always a popular choice, with, what, with it being so gosh darn adorable. Uh, when it's in danger, though, it withdraws into its shell and spits a high-pressure burst of water. A bit less adorable. In the PAL region, at the start of their Pokemon adventures, many aspiring trainers visit Pokemon or Professor Oak uh, to choose one of three uh, first partner Pokemon. Squirtle's always a popular choice, but what with him being so flippin' adorable. When it's in danger, though, it's, it withdraws into its shell and spits at high pressure it's a high pressure burst of water, which isn't quite as so adorable. Squirtle uh, appears uh, once again as a playable Pokemon fighter used by the Pokemon trainer. And there it is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, and there it is in Detective Pikachu. We will show more of that, uh, you know, when we get to it later in the, in the, in the video here. Uh, anyway, then we got Celestial. Yeah. Uh, now we got the Pokedex entries. Ah, uh, red and green. I'm not going to keep reading. I'm, I'm not I'm reading this again. Uh, you know by now that, yeah, it wasn't translated yet. It's shocking. Red and blue. Uh, this is Gen 1. After its birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. In yellow, shoots water at prey while in the water, where it draws into its shell when in danger. In stadium, it takes time for the shell to form and harden after hatching. It sprays fo foam powerfully from its mouth. Generation 2, gold. The shell is soft when born. When it is born, uh, it soon becomes so resilient, prodding fingers will bounce off it. In silver, uh, the shell which hardens soon after it it is born, is resilient. If you poke it, it will bounce back out. Why would you poke? Why would you poke a Pokemon? I mean, I get, yeah, I don't know how funny Pokemon, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we do this in real life. It's, it's, we probably shouldn't. This is Crystal. Uh, when it feels threatened, it draws its legs inside its shell and sprays water from its mouth. Stadium 2 is just gold again. In Ruby and Sapphire, Squirtle's shell is not really used for protection. The shell's rounded shape and the grooves on its surface help minimize resistance in water, enabling this Pokemon to swim at high speeds. In Emerald, its shell is not just for protection, its rounded shape and the grooves on its surface minimize resistance in water, enabling Squ Squirtle to uh, swim at high speeds. That's a much better entry. Flows much better. Fire Red, um, when it retracts its long neck into its shell, it squirts out water with vigorous force. Green is just 
one we've done before, so we'll just move on. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. It shelters itself in its shell, then strikes back with spouts of water at every opportunity. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the same as their Gold and Silver counterparts. Black, White, Black 2, and White 2 are uh, just Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum's Pokedex entries. X is also uh, the same thing in Gen 6. Y is yellows. Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphires are the same as their uh, Ruby and Sapphire counterparts. So let's go Pikachu and Eevee in Gen 7 are the same as yellow and Y. Sword in Gen 8 uh, is Fire, yeah, Fire Red's entry. Uh, Shield is uh, just Crystal's entry again. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, their counterpart. Uh, for Gen 9, uh, Scarlet. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. It sprays a potent foam from its mouth. Violet, its shell is soft immediately after it is born. In no time at all, the shell becomes so resilient that a prodding vigor will bounce right off it. Here we can see uh, in the blueberry Pokedex. Cute, you know, once looks like it's resting. It's obviously not sleeping because we know that it would get in there, but it might, it might just be relaxing, you know. Moving on to game locations. You know, we, we don't read these, so we're just passing them again. Side games, events, uh, held items, okay. Uh, Pokemon caught in Gen 1 must be traded into a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. Uh, in red, yellow, and blue, uh, you get a bitter berry every time at Stadium. If you're from round 1, you get a normal box. If it's from round 2, it gets a gorgeous box. Its base stats are 44, you can, yeah, 48, 65. 50, 64, speed is 43, all totals up to 314. Uh, this Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 50. Um, uh, type effectiveness. Type effectiveness. Under normal, okay, no. Uh, damage normally by normal fighting, flying, poison, ground, rock, bug, ghost, psychic, dragon, dark, and fairy. That's a lot. Okay. Weak to uh, grass and electric for double, immune to nothing, resistant to steel, fire, water, and ice for half. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> By leveling up, uh, you get level 1 tackle uh, and tail whip. Level 3 is fire water gun. Uh, uh, level 6 is the draw. 9 is rapid speed. 12 is bite. 15 is water pulse. 18 is Protect, 21 is Rain Dance, 24 is Aqua Tail, 27 is Shell Smash, 30 is Iron Defense, 33 is I Hydro Pump, and 36 is Wave Crash. Then by TM... Okay. TM001, Take Down, 7 Protect, 11 Water Pulse, 22 Chilling Water, 25 Facade, uh, 34 Ice Sea Wind, 35 Mud Shot, 43 Fling, uh, 47 Endure, 50 Rain Dance, 55 Dig, 58 Brick Break, 59 Zen Headbutt, body, 66 Body Slam, 69 High Sponge, 70 Sleep Talk, 85 Rest, 103 Substitute, 104 Iron Defense. 110 Liquidation, uh, 123 Surf, 124 Ice Spin, 130 Helping Hand, 135 Ice Beam, 142 Hydro Pump, 143 Blizzard, 145 Water Pledge, 171 Tarot Blast, 174 uh, Haze, 180 Gyro Ball, uh, 192 Focus Punch, 193 Weather Ball, uh, 192 Flip Turn, 204 Double Edge, 208 Whirlpool, and 209 Muddy Water. Uh, by breeding, if you do this group, you get Aqua Jet, this group Aqua Ring, this group Fake Out, this group Flail, um, this group Life Do, this group Mirror Coat, this group Mist, this, uh, that's not a, a Mirror Herb, I, what? I don't know what a Mirror Herb is, but somehow it acts as some sort of parenting, or maybe, maybe if it's like attached to one of your Pokemon or something, then you'll get Water Spout, I guess, I don't know. Uh, Yawn, um, yeah, you get Yawn from all these guys. Okay. In the TCG only, uh, you get Pound and Double Slap on these cards. The side game data, you got all this. Uh, yep, all this, all this. Okay, so for Pokemon Ranger, uh, Gordle puffs its cheeks, then shoots water that can extinguish a small fire. Oh. Pokemon Ranger, uh, Shadows of Omnia. Uh, it attacks by squirting water from its mouth. Here we got all here. Okay. 
In Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure, um, Squirtle came to see the ice tree in the Iceberg Zone, and his most loved attraction is Empoleon's Snow Slide. In Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond, he is shy, but cares about his friends. As he gains more friends, he becomes less shy. Okay. Go on. Okay, and the new Pokemon Snap, a photo dex. Uh, Squirtle doesn't bask in the sun just to dry off its shell. It also absorbs nutrients to help it grow strong. It's still weak for now, though, so it often needs friends like Lapras to rescue it. Aww. Okay, then we've got, uh, Pokemon Go. We got Sunglasses, which seems to maybe be a reference to Squirtle Squad, Squad, but it's definitely not the Squirtle Squad leader, uh, glasses. That's just, like, one of the side care, side, uh, ones. Um, the, yeah. uh, the yeah mask. God, I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, it must be a reference to something, probably. Um, uh, Pikachu, fine, okay. Uh, this is an evolutionary data again. Yeah, okay. Uh, sprites. We got these. This is uh, particularly interesting, because it, like, hardly looks, and it looks enough like, um, like a Squirtle to get an idea, but, like, yeah, you really don't see the colors until Generation 2. Um... Yeah, and then, of course, you got this. This is such a subtle one. I hope that they changed that. But, yeah, it's just a lighter blue and then green, which kind of reminds me of a, a Kuba shell. I guess they also had, yeah, the green over here. Um, yeah, kind of just looks like a Kuba shell uh, from Mario. Um, anyway, yeah, so I guess they keep that. Although, it's oh, it's a much more distinct blue. It's not just that brighter blue. It's more like a sky blue, I guess. Um, yeah, um... Yeah, and then we got all these. I got all this. Okay, well now it's back to just like being the kind of the brighter blue. Um, get the sun and moon. And let's go games. Uh, sword and shield. Again, kind of just that lighter blue, I guess. Uh, and then the cross generations. It really, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, so that's, yeah. Okay, trivia. I mentioned this one in the Charmander and Squirtle one, but this is this country created or area, this area created uh, one dollar coins and the squirrel here. There was a scene in the 2004 film Godzilla Final War where a boy throws an action figure of Squirtle into a fire and insults it. This is also a presumed reference to Gamera. Origin. Squirtle's design is based on both its final evolved form and baby turtles. Although its anatomy is semi-aquatic, uh, lifestyle are much more similar to terrapins, which uh, with proportions matching those of the big-headed turtle. Uh, much like War Turtle, its tail is a reference to Japanese legends of the Min Minogame, a turtle which lived for a thousand, ten thousand years and grew a tail made of seaweed. That's the legendary character I mentioned before, uh, in the video. Uh, yep, name origin. Squirtle may be a combination of squirt, uh, to spray, small child, and turtle. Zenagame may be a combination of Zeni, money, and Kame turtle, forming the world's word Zenagame, uh, baby Japanese pond turtle. According to, uh, Pokemon Black and White's television program Poke Quiz, Zeni is an old-fashioned word for money. Squirrel shell looks like a, like old coin, so that's how it got their name. Hmm. Uh, and here's another languages, um, get to see also, yeah, okay, and the references and the external links, and the first partner trios, and the Smash Brothers series information, and yep, and tomorrow we'll talk about War Turtle, Bye bye Since we've already watched Squirtle's first two scenes in the anime, let's watch his third! Hello, and welcome to the anime section of the video. I know a few seconds ago I just mentioned we were gonna watch the third scene with, uh, Squirtle, but... In reality, we're actually watching the third part of the first scene, um, because Bulbasaur, uh, here, and, uh, Charmander's videos there, that first scene got, uh, copyright, uh, claimed, so, we're just gonna, we're gonna do this. Cool? Okay, so now, for context, um, we were introduced to Ash Ketchum, the main character, uh, who's about to start his Pokemon journey, his mom tells him to go to bed, he says he's not tired, uh, his mom tells him to watch an educational, uh, video, uh, and then, uh, Professor Oak, uh, is in this little video here, uh, and he's explaining what, uh, each of the Pokemon are, so that's Bulbasaur again. Um. Charmander and Squirtle. Squirtle. Each one is available for new trainees. Which one shall you choose? Go to bed when this is done. All right, I'm going. And change into your pajamas, okay? To help them to develop I'm their going. Powers. And that's it. That's that's the whole scene. Uh, yeah. 
Bye bye Now let's see how Squirtle is portrayed in Detective Pikachu. Hello and welcome to the Detective Pikachu portion of the video, or as I like to call it, Detective Squirtle. Uh, as it's only the frames with a uh, Squirtle. To the best of my ability, if I've missed any, or assumed a Pokemon uh, was a Squirtle when it wasn't, I apologize. But, yeah. So, right now, uh, our, the main character, uh, Tim Goodman, is watching a video, uh, introducing him to Rhyme City, a city he's about to enter. Uh, yeah. So, let's get going. Out of our world. For the common good. Rhyme. So, that scene was, um, that little, uh, image, Egyptian image, uh, so that may have made me notice that there wasn't really an obvious uh, squirrel there, and that's because uh, it was in the uh, hieroglyphs. There's probably a few of them in there. So here's Rhyme City. This is the the establishing shot. This is Tim, the main character. Um, yeah. So let's keep going. Sit on. There's a few squirrels around here. Um, yeah. Okay. Fighting fires wouldn't be the same without their squirrel partner. Okay, so that was uh, sort of showing how Pokemon and people uh, interact in this city, because this is a city uh, where Pokemon and humans coexist. There is no, like, Pokeballs and stuff. Uh, yeah, and so there's a Squirtle here. He's going to fall. Uh, it's kind of funny. The Flurry play which explains, so Tim is going to the police station as he found out that his father, a detective, died in a car crash. Uh, and so he's sort of uh, finishing up, I guess, uh, with the lieutenant, his, uh, Harry's boss. Me, Harry being his father. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's move on. Uh, squirtle uh, Pretty good cover covering. There's a squirrel leaving the police station here. Let's see, there were a few back there. So this is later after he's gotten the keys to his father's apartment where he's gonna sort of, um, clean up there, I guess, and, you know. Uh, so there's a Squirtle here, you can't really see him because he's mostly covered by a Charizard, or Charmander at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is just the sort of shot that, yeah, shows it at night, and, yeah. So there he is. There. Um, so then there's one over here, the same, same scene, there's one over there. Uh, one over here. So now this is, um... Uh, Night Market later in the film, so this is Detective Pikachu, a talking Pikachu, uh, and they've just gone on a little adventure together, um, but, so now we're here in the Night Market, and so he, what he's talking about is the Argas, um, a chemical, uh, that, uh, turns Pokemon crazy, um, when they, uh, when they breathe it in, so, we'll, we'll, I'll talk about a little bit more about that later. Uh, but yeah, there's a Squirtle right here in the background, yeah. On the gas, if you want. He's not Destiny! So now, uh, we've got to a little bit later in the film, there's a Squirtle here. Uh, uh, Detective Pikachu has revealed that he was, uh, Harry's partner. Um, and so, they're now going to this cafe where they're talking, and, uh, Detective Pikachu is gonna explain that he has amnesia. So there I was, in the middle of nowhere with a bad case of the forgetsies. We invite the people. So celebrate. now we are much later in the film. Um, they, you know, they've learned about the Argas properly now, and they've gone to Lucy, uh, a reporter that um, Tim met earlier in the film, um, and these two are important characters. This is Howard Clifford, the founder of, uh, of Rhyme City and Clifford Industries, uh, which is uh, who, the, he's the president of uh, which, uh, of Clifford Industries. Uh, he's also uh, his son. His name is Roger Clifford. Um, and there's a, a Squirtle here who will appear over here later. I think it's the same Squirtle. Maybe it isn't. The continuity in this film uh, is a little bit weird. Uh, as you can, yeah, it's, yeah, we'll see. We'll, of the no. harmony between. Oh, and there's also going to be a Squirtle silhouette um, in the background. And what they're talking about, so I don't have to talk about this later. Uh, is that they are announcing a parade um, for the 10th anniversary of Rhyme City. Humans. And cops. And there's a squirrel here doing its job, painting the stage. Shut up. Oh, that's right, yep. Yeah. Turn your back on but me. But then there's like the other squirrels. Get out. Still up there. No one likes your Pokemon. It's not news if it oh, can't yeah. be verified. Yeah. You want a story, find a source. 
So that's oh. Lucy. Uh, so, and Roger uh, is also uh, the head of the news uh, paper. Uh, so that's what that kind of confrontation was about. She, you know, thought she had, like, rumors of things. Uh, but then he was like, no, we, we don't do that. Uh, also, uh, there's, yeah, there's this squirrel in the background here. Yeah, okay, moving on. Do we need to ask you something? Now's not, not really the good, the good time. In Harry's desk. Okay, so now, what we're kind of a little bit later in the film here, um, uh, Tim and Detective Pikachu have tracked the R down to this underground fight club, uh, Pokemon fight club, I should say, uh, where, uh, they... Uh, are, we're gonna see a little bit of the battle, um, here, like the, you know, they, they're trying to track it down more specifically, uh, to where, you find out where it really came from. Um, so yeah, there's a squirtle around here, so there it is, it's right down there. Uh, and we're gonna see it throughout, uh, the film, but we'll, we'll, we'll pause when we see it. So here, uh, you can see the squirtle here watching, um, the fight here between Blastoise and Gengar. I like to think that the Squirtle is supporting Blastoise, you know, being the evolution of Squirtle after all. Uh, but yeah, let's just move on. Here. Tell him you're my new partner. Okay, so now we've cut to a little bit later in the scene. Uh, the leader of the, um, of the place, uh, has, uh, confronted Tim because apparently Pikachu was here in the past with Harry. Um, and so they're just, they're here to kind of learn more about where Harry is, and yeah. Um, so there's a squirtle behind him, that it'll appear a few times. I'm his, uh, new partner. Last time he... So, yeah, he's about to explain that the last time he was here, uh, Charizard, who's here, you can barely see it, was, they fought, I guess, and, and it scratched up her, uh, it, it gave, uh, Charizard a scar, um, and so that's what he's talking about. He has a, also a scratch on his coat. Yeah. What's cute? Oh. Coat? Where's his shirt? This! Yeah. This is my place! So he mentions the lack of a shirt. You'll see more about that in a second here. And does that. Right, the coat. Classic stare acting me. Uh, look. I just want to know why his old partner was here. That's all. Ready for next. Okay, so now, you know, Gengar has won, as you can see here. And also just from that, uh, a Squirtle's around here somewhere. Uh, or no, he's right here. Um, but anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh, there, so, he's about to, uh, the, the, the owner of this place is about to, um, propose a battle, uh, to find out for the information, um, yeah, that Tim and Detective Pikachu are. So now they're all excited for it, he's getting all hyped about it as well, there's Squirtle down there. So, what's going on here in the background, um, is... Uh, he, the owners, used some Argas on uh, Charizard, so he'll go crazy, and that's the, the thing. I'll just do it again. Give me my hand! Uh, yeah, he's entering the thing. So here, uh, Detective Pikachu has forgotten how to use his powers, so he's struggling to use them. You know, there's a squirrel right there. The squirrels are around me. So the vials are now broken. They're gonna release. Um, the Argas, they make all the other Pokemon crazy, you can see a, a Squirtle was around there a bunch. So now we cut to later in the film, after the, after the battle uh, area, Tim was arrested, he talked to the lieutenant again, and um, found out that, a hair, and saw the footage of Harry in the car crash, um, confirming that he's dead, but now Howard has summoned him, um, thanks to Miss Norman here. Um, and, yeah, so, uh, there's a Squirtle here in the art here, that's why I have it in, in this video. Um, yeah, so, let's see what Howard wants. Come in. Um, so. Whoa. Mm. So that's a Flareon, a hit, it was just evolved from an Eevee, uh, in front of their eyes. Um, that's a Squirtle. Um, but yeah, they're gonna... Uh, that greatness inside you. So that was, the, this is a hologram of, um, of a car. So, like, Howard, being in a wheelchair, has invested a lot of money in creating these real lifelike holograms. You can't really see it here, and you can kind of see, you can't see it here. Uh, but allegedly, uh, the, 
the the squirtle would be here if you could actually see the frame so I'm counting it uh yeah or if you could see the actual art but you can't really anyway I don't know I'm just going uh, so this is afterwards now they found out that Mewtwo has uh Harry's body um and so now they're just yeah they're going right and there's a squirtle right there um on, you tell me down to okay so now that was the beginning of the parade you couldn't really see it but uh, there was a, a Squirtle float in the little corner up here, um, and now, you know, we see a couple Squirtle with the, near the Blastoise, maybe they're helping, maybe they're just admiring, it's not really clear, uh, and this is a reporter that'll become relevant later, um, Mrs. McMaster, hi, it's Lucy yes. Steven at CNN. Oh, I should probably explain those scenes, so, uh, so, what has happened in the movie, um, so they confronted uh, Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo showed a vision uh, to uh, Tim and Pikachu, uh, which caused Pikachu to think that he betrayed Harry, separating uh, him, and uh, which caused uh, sorry Pikachu to run away from Tim. They've now been separated. Uh, but after the vision, uh, Mewtwo was captured by, um, ha by Roger, um, so now uh, there's this big news story she wants to get out, uh, about Roger, and so, yeah. Uh, there's a few Squirtle in the background, hmm. Yeah, sorry, that's really important that the yeah. thing to hear, and I was really hoping you could help me tell- Yeah, okay. So then, yeah, the Squirtle's in the background. You got it! So, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, the, the new the Miss Mc, Miss Masters or McMasters whatever she called her, uh, she just blew off uh, Lucy, and yeah she's angry. So here uh, Tim is confronting or is telling Howard about uh, what he knows about Roger and, the, and Mewtwo. Uh, his this the squirt alert again. Um, Howard, yeah. Mr. Clifford, your son. Because so, now that we're at the we're at the beginning of the parade, kind of you know the, the announcement or whatever, whatever uh, the commencement rather. Um, and so, yeah, then we got the, 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 uh, the Squirtle, uh, blimp, or uh, float here. I'm just gonna have a few Squirtle up here in the front. You can see them here. So, as you can see, we are more than happy with the turnout today. It's the mayor. So uh, this is Mr. Squirtle. Mr. Mayor, I need to speak with you, please. It's urgent. A little later on interview day. Yeah, and then, we so now here, yeah, obviously, he doesn't, she doesn't want, uh, him to know that she, he, she's investigating into the, what what happened with Mewtwo. Hey, I'd like to thank um, so now what just happened? So now we've got to a little bit later in the film. Uh, Howard has revealed that he um, was the one who actually stole Mewtwo um, and uh, or captured Mewtwo, uh, and um, is using something called the Neuralink to put his mind in Mewtwo's body to control him, but them, um, uh, and that, these are all just the Pokemon reacting, I guess, yeah, and there's one around here, I think, or no, it's down here, yeah, the, the Squirtle's down here in this scene, um, and then, yeah, we're gonna see if he were a Pokemon reacting, yeah, so we see all the Pokemon Not reacting, just for me. so this is, yeah, Howard in Mewtwo's body, he's explaining his plan to, that he wants to turn all of the Pokemon are humans into into their Pokemon, and that's yeah. Um, and he does this using the gas because that because Mewtwo has the power to make them into uh, this boat to fuse them, I guess. Uh, uh, because uh, with the gas, I, yeah. But for all of humanity, so the squirtle flood again. He squirtle on the ground here. Uh, yeah, and then Squirtle Flood again, and he's gonna be Squirtle this one there. Um, so they're all going this crazy again. Squirtle there. Wow. And he just keeps doing this, and the Squirtles can hardly say hello. This is a much better job with the Squirtle. Um, so now, Detective Pikachu has returned with information. He wanted to show her, uh, with Tim, but uh, now he's found this parade, you know, in this state, and so there's this person in a squirtle is like confronting that fact. Uh, this is uh, Psyduck in the background. This is Lucy's uh, Pokemon, and so she's f uh, fused, I guess, with him here. Um, 
Okay. Worst parade I've ever seen. So now, uh, that was, uh, so he's yeah, learned that uh, Howard is uh, Mewtwo and he's gonna, um, he's gonna confront him. He's gonna fight him uh, to stop him, yeah. There's the balloon in there. Yeah, it's gonna appear a few times in the, okay. in the final scene. Stand in the way of the future! Uh, so that scene, uh, so you remember earlier in the film, uh, uh, Howard had a ditto. Uh, it was revealed that uh, Ditto was both Miss Norman and uh, was the Roger we saw with the sunglasses. He had, uh, er, yeah, it had transformed into them uh, and captured Mewtwo. Um, yeah, and so that, so earlier in the film, Tim got uh, knocked back by uh, Mewtwo here, and so then he, I guess, sent Ditto to take care of. Uh, of Tim while he was doing all this. And so now we're back to the fighting scene. Uh, so now, you know, then Ditto transforms into Lucy in that to fight him. And so here, uh, this is after he's gone, this is Pikachu, uh, he's gone through a whole ordeal with a satellite dish, uh, with fighting. So as you can see the, the, uh, the float, squirrel float there. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got to later in the film, they've taken off the, uh, Neuralink from Howard. Stopping his plan, but because Mewtwo slash Howard was holding uh, Pikachu at the time, Mewtwo became disoriented and dropped uh, Pikachu. But now Mewtwo is saving him using his psychic powers or their psychic power. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so then yeah, just dropping him down. This first Squirtle in the background. Tim. Okay, yeah. So now uh, they're meeting up again here, and then there's the Squirtle in the background. So this, so Mewtwo has decided to fix everything, so it's gonna blow up all these balloons here, um, or floats. In this scene, uh, the, the Pokemon are being separated from their humans, that's, you know, there's a squirrel here and there's gonna be another squirrel, and he held like a baby, um, Then there's, uh, the here, there's, there's a few in the background, you can't really see them very well, but they're there. Um, so this is, yeah, just more of them being separated. Oh. Howard is being arrested, there's a squirtle there, um, they're sort of, you know, talking about, yeah, what's going on here. Um, the, no matter what his flaws, deep down, I blame myself for not being there for him. Had a lead on it because okay, so now he's talking about how you know Lucy knew about this long before anyone else did. There's a squirtle down there. You can hardly see it, but that's its tail. Um, yeah. For anyone else even. <laughs> so here, you know, they've so Lucy's just gotten a promotion. They're all excited and they've saved the day and all that. And so yeah, so they've gone. They've gone their separate ways. There's a squirtle here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait. So now we're at the end of the film. Um, it's been revealed that the reason why Pikachu could talk was because it had the soul of Harry, and that's him. Um, and there's a squirrel there with, with, with the skater man here. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so they're hugging out. Yeah, they're hugging because because they think he's about to leave Rhyme City because that's not where uh, he grew up. Uh, so or lives, I guess. Um, yeah, and so they're hugging to say to goodbye. Um, so then there's the Squirtle. See it. Okay. And so then, here, so he's decided now that he wants to stay in Rum City with his dad. So then the Squirtle with her, I guess. Um, you think I can stay with you for a while? Right now. Okay, so then here we go. Uh, yeah, we have this sort of, yeah, and so now they are gonna about to go get coffee. And now, here yeah, we got this big, sort of, this little group of Squirtles. One might even say a Squirtle squad. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, so, yeah, they're going to appear here in this final shot of the film. Um, I think I'll have to find a new job. Oh, yeah? What are you thinking? Um... Okay, now here we are in the credits. There's a squirrel here. I guess this squirrel's probably supposed to represent the one that appeared in the TV station because she didn't really have any interaction 
with the Squirtle. Um, yeah. So then obviously the Squirtle's here, and then there's this big spiral thing. Uh, I'm sorry if there isn't a Squirtle in every frame, there, but you can see one here, and it's gonna it's gonna be like a pattern, so it probably is in every frame. I don't know. Well, uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this section, and we'll move on. I'll be honest, this isn't my favorite interpretation of a Pokemon. I get that Squirtle is a turtle, but I feel like the texture of a turtle makes it look kind of ugly. The cleanness of the other versions of Squirtle make it look cuter. Anyway, let's get into the TCG. I have one Squirtle card. It's from the second version of the Squirtle cards. It was illustrated by Mitsuhiro Morita. I like the uniqueness of this art and how it is using its bubble attack. It has 40 HP, it's 1 foot 8, and 20 pounds, which is 0.2 pounds heavier than its current Pokedex weight. It has two moves, bubble and withdraw. In the video games, bubble is a move that inflicts damage and reduces the target's speed. On this card, it causes 10 damage and can paralyze the target with a coin flip. It costs one water energy. In the video games, withdraw is a move that increases the user's the user Pokemon's defense. On this card, it prevents all damage to Squirtle with a coin flip. It costs one water and one of any other kind of energy card. Squirtle is weak to electric, which causes it to take double damage. Its retreat cost is one energy of any color. Its description says, After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. This is almost identical to the Pokedex entries in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Leaf Green. It's level 8. In the video games, it would be 8 levels from evolving into Wartortle. Speaking of Wartortle, I have a Wartortle card, so I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow. Anyway, let's move on to why people love Squirtle. Let's get into the fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody sent me fan art, so we'll be doing deviant art. Uh, if you haven't watched the other videos, how this works is that we go through the, the images until we find one that doesn't actually contain a Squirtle on it. Uh, that's it. Let's get started. So we've got this art, this uh, Squirtle by Tamborella uh, from 2019. It's got Squirtle and a, a shadow of a Blastoise. This is very similar, I think, to another artwork. Yeah to this artwork that they did for, uh, for, uh, Bulbasaur, uh, and Venusaur, we watched that, I don't remember if it was in the Bulbasaur and the Venusaur, or maybe just the Venusaur, or maybe just the Bulbasaur video, I don't really quite remember, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's a thing, uh, yeah, um, now let's move on, uh, we've got the Squirtle, this cute, kind of, you know, very cute Squirtle here, uh, from Savvy Yami. Uh, from 2017. Then we've got this uh, kind of cute Squirtle looking to grab maybe a shell here. Um, and it's by, it's called Squirtle by Riley Kitty. It's from 2019. Um, then we have this image again that we've done with these last two. Um, and we'll probably have to do with Pikachu to be honest. Uh, but it's po called Pokemon 20th Anniversary by Zerudes. It's from 2016 and you know we've talked about the start starters. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so then we've got, uh, daily, uh, 1,323 Squirtle slash Wartroll slash Blastoise by Cryptid Creations, uh, from 2016. Yeah, you got this cute, cute art style here, um, and I guess it says here, daily paintings, the art of Piper Thibodeau, I don't know how to pronounce that, it's probably French. Um... It's apparently forgepublishing.com. Uh, apparently they, they're I may be making a book or something. Um, yeah, and so yeah, you can see it kind of them in a, a sort of a, a water fight here, a water um, gun fight. You know, a cute little army yeah, outfit as well. Uh, anyway, uh, then we've got a squirtle here cute kind of chibi yeah it's literally a chibi squirtle chibi dex 007 squirtle uh by sevi yummy uh from 2018. um and we've got this one again of course because i'm pretty sure we've gotten most of these uh you know i've gotten this image on most of these if not all of them uh but then we, so we've got uh this bulbasaur uh, uh ivysaur venusaur charmander charmeleon charizard uh squirtle a uh, war turtle and, and blast choice and this cool image with a trainer it's called gen one by ein lee uh from 2015. uh we got this cool looking uh, uh squirtle here 
and this sort of uh, stylized art app uh, by it's called Squirtle 007 uh, by Kutsuku um, from 2015 uh, yeah we saw the Charizard art uh, yesterday um, then we've got grab your starter by rare bin um, from 2015 so you've got the Four Kanto starters, um, yeah. Then we've got starters, this one again, I think we had it for Charmander. Uh, but yeah, you got Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, it's a call, yeah, called Starters by uh, Leah M. Smith uh, from 2015. Um, then we've got Water Partners by Riley Kitty from 2019. It looks to be maybe a compilation of, of all the art that they've done for the first eight generations of uh, Water Starters. Um, then we've got Squirtle by Blue Komodori, um, from 2015, and, uh, yeah, and then they have or had a Tumblr, uh, at least at the time. Yeah, um, yeah. Then we've got Aqua Babies by, uh, Joanna Zell, uh, from 2015, so that's the first, one, two, three, four, five, six generations, that's how far back this is. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, then we've got this one, Charmander and Squirtle by Blue Komodari, uh, from 2015. So we watched, we looked at this art, uh, when we, um, did the Charmander video, but it's, it's very, uh, I don't know, intense, I don't know, uh, not really, but, like, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, they're having a, a moment, uh, of weakness, I guess. Uh, you know, he's, he's running to save his friend Charmander there, who seems to be hurt and maybe in rough condition given the tale. Uh, but anyway, moving on, um, then we got this art again by, uh, called Canto by Sav, Sav Kate, uh, from 2018. There's this leaf covering these, the Canto starters again, uh, and this weird, maybe foggy forest, or maybe they don't know how to do a forest landscape or didn't in 2018. I don't know, maybe this is just how they do their art. I don't know, man. Uh, anyway, we're going on. Um, then we got this one again, uh, Pokemon Group from 2017. Uh, so we had it in the Charmander video as well. Um, so yeah, we have, so it looks like there's a scene here where Charmander burned, uh, Pikachu's tail and he's angry and maybe, uh, Bulbasaur here is trying to, like, be mediator. Uh, and then of course Squirtle looks like he's about to blast, uh, Pikachu's tail with water. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we've got, uh, water starters, uh, from, uh, Clockbirds in 2019. Uh, from the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, first eight generations. Uh, this is kind of comparative to the grass starters one over here that we did um, when we did Bulbasaur. So, yeah, and we can see it. I guess they're playing with bubbles uh, is the thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, then we've got Squirtle's Bubble by Arceus Pokemon from 28 or 2010. That's a similar kind of concept to this one. I think it's called... Bulbasaur Sleep Powder, yeah, uh, where it's doing a move, and it's this kind of cute little image here, and I guess they have a website, or had a website called Archeus, it's, it's just this name again, uh, down here, yeah, uh, dot com, um, and then we've got this really cool art of variety of Pokemon here, we've got, uh, you know, it's called Pokemon, Pokemon Water Sanctuary by Michelle Scribbles, uh, from 2016. So we've got a couple Squirtle, we've got a couple War Turtle, a Blastoise, a couple Corsola, a couple Wooper, three, uh, Polywogs, and a few Love Discs. Oh, and a few Remoraids, and there's probably, there might be even more that I'm missing, and I think I got them all, though. Uh, anyway, this is kind of a cool, kind of stylized image, particularly of the Squirtle line. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a very calming kind of looking image, you know, they all look kind of calm. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, then we've got Squirtle Water Splash by, uh, Naschi, Naschi, uh, from 2016, and you can see them kind of maybe doing the art here. Um, yeah, and then you, yeah, it's in that glass, a uh, Squirtle, a cute little Squirtle is in a glass of water and there's ice and it's, yeah, very cute. Um, then we've got My Neighbor, uh, from It's Birdie Art, from 2014. So, we've got, um, Squirtle and Pikachu here, but also these are characters from My Neighbor Totoro. These glasses are from, 
uh, Squirtle's uh, time in the Squirtle Squad, implying that these, at least he is Ash's Squirtle. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we've got this image. Again, the Charizard that stopped uh, Bulbasaur, and I guess it's stopping Squirtle as well. So, hope you enjoyed uh, this part of the video, and I uh, hope you finish it up. Bye bye Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. At 9 p.m. CMT, Central Mountain Time, I'll be streaming. Here I'll be uh, restarting Pokemon Blue to catch a Squirtle. Tomorrow I'll talk about Wartortle. As always, this isn't my proper outfit, and you'll see me tomorrow. Wait, one more thing. Uh, before we end this video, uh, I do want to talk about this little character. Maybe you've seen it in other videos, uh, but this little cute figure. Um, I don't remember what it is from. Maybe it says somewhere. But it's something uh, my brother gave me. I don't, you can't really see it very well. I don't know if you can see it very well. In the camera, focus, please. There you go. There he is. This little squirtle thing. I'll put the name on the screen uh, when I, yeah, so, yeah. So that's it. Bye bye